Hello my dear students! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me once again, Teacher Teen, your research teacher for today's vlog. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in research too. Isa sa mahalaga na dapat matutunan ng isang researcher ay syempre kung paano magsulat ng research paper. Hindi lamang uh, sapat na alam mo ang mga parts ng research paper na meron tong chapter 1 to 5 at ang bawat chapter ay binubuo pa rin ng iba't ibang parts. Dapat mahalaga na malaman natin as a researcher kung paano ba ang tamang construction ng mga sentences kapag nagsusulat tayo ng research paper. And for that, I am here to teach you and to give you tips on proofreading and how to write uh, proper sentences and proper construction of sentence when we are writing a research paper. So for now, this vlog is all about guidelines in writing a research paper using the APA format. And I hope you learned something from this vlog. Okay, let us start. Let us have the guidelines in writing a research paper using the APA format. So, let us have the proofreading. So, let's say for example, the marigold flower extract will be manipulated by the researchers. So, what do you think is wrong in this sentence? The marigold flower extract will be manipulated by the researchers. Okay, so if your answer is by the researchers, so very good. So it should be written this way. The researchers manipulated the marigold flower extract. So you should avoid using this word by because it is not appropriate when you are writing a research paper. So instead of saying the marigold flower extract will be manipulated by the researchers, it should be the researchers manipulated the marigold flower extract. So this is wrong and this sentence is wrong. Okay, so for our rule number one, you have to use active voice in writing the research paper. Active voice. Kasi ito kasing ginamit natin ditong by, it is in passive. Okay? So yan po ay passive voice. Which is, kailangan natin siyang i-avoid. Dapat lagi po tayong active voice only, direct to the point. So, that is the rule number one. So, for example, number two, that's why the researchers will conduct the study to test the effectiveness of marigold flower extract in enhancing the vitamin A content. So, what do you think is wrong in this sentence? Okay, this one, that's why. Okay, why, what is wrong with this letter or with this word rather that's why okay so instead of writing that's you should write that is why okay so hindi po pwedeng pinuputol natin siya or kinokontract so now, dapat expanded siya that is why that is why the researchers will conduct the study to test the effectiveness of marigold flower extract in enhancing the vitamin A content so for rule number 2 Rule number two, avoid word contraction. So, dapat lagi lang siyang naka-expand yung ating words. Ano? Next, example number three. That is why we will conduct the study to test the effectiveness of marigold flower extract in enhancing the vitamin A content. So, what is wrong here? Yan. So, hindi tayo gumagamit ng we or you, or I. Okay, avoid this. So, instead, anong ipapalit natin sa word na we? It should be the researchers. The, that is why the researchers will conduct the study to test the effectiveness of marigold flower extract in enhancing the vitamin A content. So, avoid using we. Okay, so for rule number three, use third person point of view. Avoid the second person or the first person. Avoid using I, we, you. So, it should always be the third person point of view. Number four. 
This study will benefit the mankind in order to maintain a good eyesight. So, what is wrong in this sentence? Yan. So, hindi po natin ina-apply or hindi natin ginagamit yung word na mankind. Bakit? Ano po ang mali sa word na mankind? So, instead of using mankind, so we rather say humankind. Okay? This study will benefit the humankind in order to maintain a good eyesight. So, why humankind and not mankind? Rule number four, avoid gender bias words. So, that, bawal po yung mankind or womankind. <laughs> okay, or for example, bawal yung girls, boys. So, dapat general po ang gagamitin nating uh, word. Okay? Next example. Vitamin A can be obtained from the carotenoid content present in marigold flowers. So, what is wrong in this sentence? Okay. So, mali yung vit A. Bakit po siya mali? Instead of using vit A, which is wrong, so, kailangan ng ilagay na natin is mismong vitamin A. So, bubuuin na natin yung word na vitamins. Ano po, hindi po natin siya ginaganyan. So, rule number five, spell out the abbreviations and acronyms. So, may pagkakataon naman na naglalagay tayo ng acronyms, pero kung yun po ay naulit na yung word. So, for example, sa first sentence or sa first paragraph, nakalagay doon, Department of Science and Technology, DOST. So, di ba may acronym? So, sa unang best na ginamit nyo yun, kailangan nakaspell out yung DOST, which is Department of Science and Technology. Pero, dun sa mga kasunod na na paragraphs or sentences, pwede nyo nang gamitin ay mismong DOST kasi nasabi naman siya dun sa una. Pero, when it comes to like this, so, hindi po yan ina-abbreviate. Dapat po yan ay buo. Maulit man or hindi, kailangan siya ay buo. Okay, another example. The researchers will prepare five setups with varied concentrations of marigold flower extract. So, what is wrong in this sentence? Okay. So, ano po ang mali dyan? This one, the five setups. So, how will you write this word? Five. Okay, dapat po ay ganyan. We have the 5 and then ilalagay niya sa open and close parenthesis yung numerical value niya which is yung 5. Bakit po? Kapag ang numbers ay 1, 2, 10, so kailangan pa natin siyang lagyan ng ganito. Pero pag tumaas na doon, okay, pag tumaas na doon, hindi na natin nilalagay po itong, uh, itong nakasulat. So pwede na siyang, for example, 20. So just the, just the number 20. Okay, or 11 or 12. Pero kung siya ay pababa, 10 below, we have to write the word and then the number. And kung mapapansin nyo dito, meron tayong word na setups. Yung setups na magkadugtong class, so, ang ibig sabihin po niyan is noun. So, ibig sabihin, uh, noun siya, kaya kung mga 5 setups, kung mga 5 groups, ano po? So, hindi po siya magkadike, eh, hindi siya, wala siyang, up, wala siyang dash or wala siyang, uh, hindi siya magkahiwalay. So, rule number six, spell out the numbers less than 10 and the figure should be enclosed within the parentheses. Okay? Example number seven, each setup will be exposed under the normal or room temperature that is 25 degrees Celsius. So, what is wrong in this uh, sentence? Okay, it is the word 25 degrees Celsius. So, hindi po natin siya sinusulat ng ganyang way. Ano, mali po yan. So, rather, we say 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so, ito ganito po dapat ng tamang pagsulat niyan. Rule number 7, use symbols to indicate the unit of measurement. So, for example, nakakita naman kayo ng 25 meters. Okay, instead of saying 25 meters in words, so, pwede muna siyang, ang gawin nyo na lang ay 25, okay, meters. Okay, gagamit tayo ng unit of measurement. So, dapat alam nyo ang tamang paggamit ng unit of measurement. Next, we have example number 3. Ano, example number 8. Through the experimentation, the researchers will analyze the results in order to formulate the interpretation as well as the conclusion. 
So, what is wrong in this sentence? Ayan. So, the word analyze. Bakit po mali ang word na analyze? So, it should be analyze. Okay? So, what is our rule for this? Word spelling should conform the standard American English spelling. Example number 9. The researchers will obtain the marigold flower extract to test its effectiveness wherein the 45-day chickens will serve as the experimental unit. So, what is wrong in this sentence? Okay, so what is wrong here is the word we're in. Okay, so we have to avoid the archaic words kasi mga luma na siya. So, ina-avoid na natin yun. So, pwede na yung gumaan ng whereas. Ayan, so yung mga hindi na gamitin dati, yung mga lumang words, tinatanggal na yun. Example number 10. Marigold tagetes officinalis can be used in enhancing the carotenoid content present among the egg yolks. So, what is wrong in traction of this word? So, it is the tagetes officinalis. Why is it wrong? Bakit kuya an ay mali? So, instead of writing this way, so it should be written this way. Tagetes officinalis, dapat po siya ay naka-italicize. Okay, nakatagilid. And of course, remember kapag siya ay uh, scientific name, the first letter should be written in capital letter and the rest should be in lowercase. Okay, so rule number 10, italicize the scientific names. Kahit anong scientific names yan, basta scientific names, it should be italicized. And then, example number 11, the researchers analyzes the datas in order to determine the effectiveness of marigold flower in enhancing the carotenoid content among the egg yolks. So, what is wrong in this sentence? Yan, very good. So, mali ang analyzes, mali rin ang datas. So, ano po ang mali sa dalawang word na to? Okay, it should be data and the other one, it should be analyzed. The researchers analyzed the data in order to determine the effectiveness of marigold flower extract in enhancing the carotenoid content among the egg yolks. Okay, data analyze. So, for rule number 11, check your grammatical rules. So, kailangan i-check palagi yung grammar. Okay? Maling-mali na rin naman dito kasi analyzes wherein the researchers is plural. Mali pa rin talaga siya. And of course, since ito ay tapos ng gawin, so kailangan naka-past tense na tayo. So, example number 12. The carotenoid content of the marigold flower extract can be converted into vitamin A. So, ano po ang mali dyan? The carotenoid content of the marigold flower extract can be converted into vitamin A. Okay, what is wrong is carotenoid. Anong mali sa carotenoid? So, it should be carotenoid. So, what is wrong? It's the spelling. So, our rule number 12, you have to check the word spelling. Check po natin kung tama ba ang spelling ng mga words na ginagamit natin. Okay, and example number 13. The researchers used F test in order to determine if there is a significant difference among the experimental setups and the control groups in terms of the effectiveness in enhancing the carotenoid content in egg yolks of the egg yolks. So, what is wrong? Okay, it's the F test. Why do you think F test is wrong? Instead of writing this way, how should it be written? Okay, it should be written this way. Okay, kailangan siya po ay naka-italicize. Bakit iya-italicize? Ano ba yung F-test? Rule number 13, italicize all statistical symbols. Okay, lahat po ng statistical symbols ay naka-italicize. Mapa F-test, T-test, Z-test, or whatever statistical uh, test is that. Okay, italicize po dapat yun. This is the end of our lesson vlog about guidelines in writing the research paper using the APA format or the proofreading. 
So stay tuned in this channel because in the following lessons, we will discuss the different parts of a research paper, spe specifically chapter 1. So iisa-isahin natin paano ba magsulat ng background of the study, statement of the problem, significance of the studies, definition of terms, uh, and so on. So ayun, stay tuned on this channel. So this is me once again, Teacher Tin, your research teacher for today's vlog. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Research 2. Bye! Thank you for watching and good luck in your study. Bye!